actively trying to sell the home, doing outside of the box. Yeah, she, well, she, she, she plays a really good game. She says she market it, but uh, I, I know she wasn't. I see. Did you get any showings? Oh, uh, yeah. I got a, a, but you know what, to be honest with you, dear, I got more showings I went out and got than what she did. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, so, I'm, like, I'm aggressive. I'm not like your regular little Jojo guy you talk to all the time. Uh, yeah, then you would be perfect so that I can work with you. Um, okay, so if the home sells in less than 30 days, that would not be a problem for you, right? No. No, okay. Um, the price that you sent on the home, uh, how did you guys determine that? She determined that. I think we'll raise it. Okay, so you feel it should be a little bit higher? Um, or what price? Is, yeah. uh, over a million, I know that. Uh, a million thirty to a million forty-five. I don't know. Okay. Perfect. I haven't made a decision on any of that. That's why I said I haven't come to grips with what I want to do exactly yet. Yeah. Okay. Now, when the home sells, will you be downsizing, or what is the ideal plan for you? <laughs> that that has nothing to do with it. Okay. I'll be getting a house bigger than this house, but I'll uh, that tell you anything. Okay. No, I just want to make sure that if we actually work together and we sell your home, you know where you're going to be going to next. Unless you have to purchase yes. another property. Okay. So you're set and ready to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. Perfect. Now, is there anything negative that you think a buyer would notice? I know you have a very beautiful home, but is there anything negative you think? Negative on our property. There's no swimming pool. No swimming pool. Okay. I don't know if that's a negative. To me, I don't think so. But... Yeah. Honey. Yeah. I mean, the guest house, I've designed it where a new tenant can build it out any way they like. Okay. I don't look at that as a negative. I don't look at that as a negative. I look at it as, as a plus. But you know. Yeah. No, a negative would be like the location, but no, based on what you're telling me and the condition of the home, it doesn't seem like there's anything negative. There's more positives than there's more <laughs> positive than negative. Yeah. Perfect. Now, what do you think would be the lowest price you would consider for the home? Maybe. And it would have to be the right buyer and the time they could consummate a deal and all that. Maybe 125. 125. Okay. One million. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is that property already Maybe. paid off or do you still have a mortgage on it? I still have a mortgage on it. Okay. Do you have like a ballpark number of what it is that you owe? What? Oh, I know exactly what I owe. Yeah. Six sixty two on the first. Okay. Yeah. And twenty four on the second. Okay, perfect. Because I will be creating a net sheet so that you can see exactly all of the costs associated with the sale, which I'm sure you want to know. Perfect. Oh, definitely. And, and your cost of selling it. Yeah, all of that will be in there. Okay. Now, as of right now, you mentioned you're only just talking to one other agent, right? No, I got two in mind. That's why I haven't made a commitment yet. Okay. But did you already interview them? And are now, like, thinking about it? Yes, I, I, I've, already, I've already interviewed them, yes. Okay. And you know, one of them sells over 400 homes a year. Uh, so I got to see what you sell. Yeah. Well, out of those 400 homes that they actually provide you with a list of how many oh, they actually sold and their list to sales oh, price yeah. ratio? Oh, yeah. They, oh, man. They're super aggressive. They're okay. Chinese. They're Chinese. Okay. I don't think that yeah. matters, ultimately. You just want to make sure whoever... No, it doesn't matter. I don't care if you sell to Larry and Compton. Exactly. Larry and Compton might have $5 million you want to pay for your house. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, don't, I don't care at this end. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, what would happen if the property just didn't sell? I just decide to uh, take down the sign. Okay, so you're going to stay. You don't have to move or you're not going to rent it out. I've been here for 40 years there. Wow. It's a beautiful home. I don't blame you for wanting to go a little bit bigger now. Is it, Are you staying in California? No. No. Okay. Perfect. Now, what is a good email for you so that when I put everything together, I can shoot it over? Why don't you just mail it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's easier. Okay. I can mail it or... I can deliver it in person. Which one would you prefer? Mail. Mail. Okay, I'll send it through FedEx. Because we're busy with my wife's uh, mom right now doing a lot of things. We oh. just put her in a home. And, so we're dealing with a lot of stuff with her place. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to... She's only 90. She's only 99. Wow. That's awesome. At least she's still here. 99. My grandma's 95. <laughs> My mom, 94, just just passed her driver's test the other day. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. And good for her. <laughs> that's great. Oh, okay. Awesome. So I have everything that I need. Um, now, obviously, if I see that the numbers make sense and I can actually help you, is there a day, maybe during the week, on the weekend, that you and your wife would be available? You'd have to do what you're doing right now for me to uh, uh, make that decision. I can't. I don't. I'm not ready to make that decision today. No, of course, I'm not saying you should make a decision right now. I just want to at least put you in my calendar to check in or maybe we can meet and I can go over everything and well, then... well, you can call me later in the week later. after I read your stuff well, that'd be the smartest thing you could do yeah of course I just want to at least have something set up so do you, you want... didn't realize I get I've gotten about 400 of these calls over the last few months I bet and we all sound annoying but I'm glad that you at least took some time to speak to me so I really appreciate that I must be doing something differently, right? Like, I didn't expect any calls that quick. I just just uh, fired him yesterday, really. The easiest way to put it. Yeah, I don't blame you. There's a lot of incompetent agents out there, unfortunately. <laughs> well, uh, that's why I asked, what's the name of your firm? Super Century 21, and they tried to put me with another agent. I said, no, that don't work. Oh, no, no. If we work together, you're going to deal with me directly. And I do whatever I can to help my clients. Okay, perfect. All right, so I have everything. Uh, I will mail it over and then okay. I can touch base with you. When would be a good day or time, do you think? Uh, Friday? Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Friday around this time? Sure. Friday. Okay, perfect. All right, now is this the best number to reach you at in case I do have another question? The only number you can reach me at. Okay. Does this happen to be a cell phone by chance so that I can shoot you a text message with yeah, my phone? Yeah, so you can, you can always send me a text message. Okay, perfect. I will go ahead and do that so you know who I am. So when I call Friday, you know exactly who I am and don't blow me off. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Work, for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. That was a million dollar property. Did you just set an appointment? All right. <laughs> Fucking ice cream today for sure, man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. I was getting breakfast. Oh, you were getting breakfast? Yes. I recorded. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You just got a raw video um, from Lloyda, who was one of my team members, if you didn't know. And boom, appointment set. It's not really that difficult. Uh, what I decided to do was shake things up as I've evolved as my team has grown and my role has changed being more a leader than just an employee like I did four or five years ago when you saw me building my channel and building my business I said you know what we're gonna shake things up I'm gonna start having them record because they come in the office every day and they make calls they door knock I'm gonna start compiling a bunch of different footage of Loida, Kevin 
and Anthony out there setting appointments, the good and the bad. So you're gonna see appointments set and you're also gonna see when they get told to fuck off and all the quote failures. That way you guys can get a glimpse of how I've passed the torch to them and you get an insight into the daily hustle and how it still works and what they're doing. So I hope you guys enjoy it as you're gonna get a very driver's seat type of uh, point of view from all of them. So be ready. <laughs>